All right, guys, what is going on? Levi Trumbull reporting outside of the Frederick County Courthouse. We have unbelievable breaking news to get to you guys straight ahead as it relates to State of Maryland versus Galani Yilmaz. You will remember this is the 25 year old young man who punched this individual right here, Mr. Samuel Rosenblum, at a pro-Jewish demonstration that took place in Frederick County. And then he went on to break the cell phone, Sean Porter's cell phone, that was being used to record him commit this crime. Well, we can confirm that in fact, yes, this was a crime because today we we're inside of the Frederick County Courthouse in Judge Dino Flores's district court where Galani Yilmaz went on trial for a second degree assault and malicious destruction of property. And for those charges, Galani Yilmaz was found guilty as charged and further his ultimate sentence was handed down today by Judge Dino E. Flores, who not only ruled him guilty, but then imposed a 15 day jail sentence to be served by Galani Yilmaz at the Frederick County Adult Detention Center. As we shoot this video, as you guys watch this video, Galani Yilmaz, 25 years old from Frederick County, has been adjudicated guilty on these charges and is now sitting in jail as a result of them. What an unbelievable situation from where we first began. Uh, we originally didn't even know who this individual was. We did not, we knew there was a suspect when this thing first happened. We had a photo that was recovered from Sean's cell phone. But originally, we came from not even knowing who this individual was, to seeing him charged, to now seeing him found guilty and in jail. Sam, what is your instant reaction? Well, it's been a long journey. At first, um, you know, the person that, uh, that hit me was a fugitive. We didn't know who he was. He was just uh, a person who was out there. We didn't know whether he would be identified. Um, and um, we saw today he was cuffed and he was, and he was taken away. I thought that the, the judge was extremely fair, mm -hmm. that he really captured the essence of what had happened. Uh, the uh, defendant's attorney seemed to say that uh, you're entitled to use force but the judge said uh, no. And the judge basically said that he just cold cocked me. And one of the things I want to highlight is those, those were words used today by Judge Dino E. Flores. This was not just an attempt to retrieve property. Um, this was an attempt to cold cock you. He cold cocked you. And he ultimately said that Galani showed no remorse for his actions. Do you want to speak to that? Look, we, we looked at, at, at the video basically within two seconds. It happened, unfolded very, very quickly. Within two seconds, he had grabbed me by, around my throat, my, by my shirt collar, pulled me forward so fast. So the last time we shot a video on this subject matter, we told you that Galani uh, had come to court and that his plea deal uh, fell apart. There was a very sweetheart plea deal. The judge would not accept it. That was Judge Terry Myers did not accept the plea deal. And then here we are today in front of Judge Dino Flores for a trial. He was found guilty, put in jail. What do you make on this whole timeline where we didn't even know who this guy was originally to now all the way fast forward, he's sitting in jail. What do you make of that timeline? It's just incredible, isn't it? Well, it's it, like I said, it's, it's been a journey. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not happy that, that he is in jail, you know? Um, but what I told the judge is that um, is that I wanted his punishment to be such that if he ever saw something like this again, he would not, you know, stop, get out of a car, try to confront people physically or whatever. The, the first thing that would happen in his mind was mm -hmm. uh, something like that happened before and it didn't end up well for me then. All right, guys, and now we have via phone Alexandra Levine. She is somebody who is a very prominent Jewish activist. Alexandra, thank you for taking your time today. I want to first start off with what is your instant reaction to today's events? I just want to say that justice was served. I want to thank Mr. Sean Porter 
and Sam Rosenblum for fighting for justice and not allowing this delinquent, this, you know, that I think he was an illegal from Turkey, you know, to come in and to hurt uh, an innocent bystander who was just protesting. It was clearly an anti-Semitic crime. He, the, the guy was clearly anti-Semitic. He didn't like the messaging that Sam wrote on his uh, poster, and he attacked him. And all Mr. Rosenblum was doing and Mr. Porter was doing was just expressing their First Amendment rights, their you know freedom of speech, their freedom to protest. And the guy didn't like what, what was said, or excuse me, what was written. And he blatantly attacked him, attacked Sam for no reason. And it's elder abuse what he did. And it's it's horrible, it's heinous. And I'm so happy that people like Sam and Sean stood up for the Constitution, stood up for what they believed in. And this guy is now in jail um, because of the crime that he committed. I think it was a correct verdict. I think that the judge was extremely lenient on Gaylani. Um, he definitely recognized the seriousness of the situation. It really was refreshing to see the judge fully understand what happened there. I mean, he he peeled away the BS. He, he took all the statements from the state. He took in the evidence. He considered everything. And his conclusions were 100% accurate. And I understand that there was some I guess the word is discomfort with the attitude of the prosecution. Do you want to speak to that? Yes. Um, Pat Flynn is a hack who tried to destroy the case. He never once spoke to me the entire time. And we've had multiple, I think that was our third trial date. It kept getting like, you know, we'd show up and it'd get postponed and, you know, so there are plenty of opportunities. He never reached out. He never cared about the uh, the restitution for myself or for Sam. If Judge Dino Flores hadn't been able to see through uh, the attempts of the state to minimize what happened, the judge was able to see through the attempts to minimize this by the state who didn't want to have uh, a hate crime or an attack on an elderly person occur in the city of Frederick. I just want to close out by saying that we are glad that you are okay. We are glad that throughout this process you were able to get a disposition which is favorable. Sam, thank you very much. Judge Flores and Frederick County should be commended. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.